वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश थ्री जीरो से स्टेटमेंट इज द शॉफ्ट हैज डायमीटर ऑफ एटी मिलीमीटर ड्यू टू फ्रैक्शन एट इट्स सरफेस विद इन द होल इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू वेरिएबल टॉर्क डिस्क्राइब बाय फंक्शन टी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू एक्स इंटू ई की पावर एक्स स्क्वेयर वेयर एक्स इज इन मीटर determine the minimum torque t not needed to overcome friction and cause it to twist also determine the absolute maximum stress in the shaft so you can see this is a shaft inserted into the hole so due to the friction the torque acting on it is given by this function which is this one so you have to find this torque t not that causes to overcome this friction and cause it to twist also find the maximum stress in the shaft so diameter is given as 80 so radius will be 40 mm which is 0.04 meter variable torque is given like this so let's start with the solution so if you applied this torque t not so there is a resistance in this hole which is causing the torque t not and the function is like that so this t not the the net effect of this uh, function will be uh like this clear and this will be equal to integral of integral of 25 x into e to power x square and limit from 0 to 2 and that will be equal to this applied torque in order to keep this in equilibrium so we have been given small t is variable torque is equal to 25 x e to power x square unit is in newton meter per meter so this applied torque t not will be equal to to the net torque that is integral of 0 to 2 and this variable if we integrate this variable torque over the length so you will get the applied torque t not okay so you can see we have this term e ki 25 uh, integral of 25 x e ki power 2 e ki power x square into dx so if we take 25 out so it will be integral of x e to power x square into dx now what we will do is let take x square is equal to u so du will be equal to 2x into dx so here you can see we have x into dx so we need x into dx so you have to divide it by 2 on both side so you will get x into dx will be equal to du over 2 now replace this x into dx so we can write it x square x dx so replace this x into dx with du and as x square is taken as u so replace that all x square as u okay now you can take 25 into integral of e ki power u will be equal to e ki power u clear and uh, now it will be equal to 25 e ki power u so u is x square so we will take uh, limit from 0 to 2 so 25 into e to power 2 square which is 4 minus e to power 0 in square so e to power 0 square so with e to power 0 is 1 one more thing is x into dx is equal to d divided by 2 so we have 2 as well clear so e ki power x divided by 2 will be this divided by 2 so that will be equal to 25 into e ki power 4 divided by 2 minus 
1 divided by 2. So when you solve this, you will get it 669.98 Newton into meter. So you can see this term is equal to this from 0 to 2. So that is 669.98. Newton into meter. So we have T naught is 670 approximately 670 Newton into meter. Now we will find the shear stress. So we know that maximum absolute shear stress is equal to T into C divided by J. So T naught is 670 C is 0 0.04 divided by J pi by 2 into c power 4 so 0 0.0 power 0 4 power 4 so when you solve this you will get maximum sharing stress will be equal to 6.66 mega pascal the answer will be like it will be like maximum sharing stress will be like 6 uh, six 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 like this and when you convert it into mega pascal you will get this uh, that was all about this problem 5-30 so i hope you have enjoyed this also subscribe my channel if you haven't uh, and those who are uh, who are new and want to uh, know further about my channel then kindly visit thank you